This is the story of Flying Scotsman. Originally designed, uh, pfft, sorry, originally she was numbered GNR, Great Northern Railway, number 1472, due to the construction having started under, oh, fuck. Restart the sentence. Okay. <clears throat> Originally, she was numbered as GNR-1472, due to the construction having been started under the auspices, auspices. the auspices of the Great Northern Railway, as well as due to the LNER not having a dedicated system-wide numbering system. She, with a suitably modified valve gear, a new version of the eight-wheel tender, which had nine, which held nine tons of coal, and being able to replenish water on the fly th through the system of water troughs, Scotman traveled a total of 392 miles from London to Edinburgh in eight hours non-stop. Another feature that allowed the trip without having a stop was a station... Oh. <sighs> which included a new boiler with a long banjo dome and a double... Yeah. Which included a new boiler with a long banjo dome, a double calchap chimney, uh, uh, crap, I screwed that up. Under Edward Thompson's compre uh, comprehend... Uh. On November 30th, 1934, they attempted uh, in their biggest... Uh, they attempted in their biggest... I'm sorry, that's meant to be they attempted there. Sorry, get <laughs> in the end. <laughs> After a long journey and much hard work, just outside the station station of... Uh, yeah. SD. Hold on. After a group known as Save Our Scotsmen failed to acquire the three thousand dollars, three thousand pound. <laughs> After many successful runs, Prime Minister Wilson agreed to support Scotsman's trip over to North America, where they were would. Yeah. After many successful runs, Prime Minister Wilson agreed to support Scotsman's trip over to North America, where she would would be. Yeah. With a change in political party back home, Pegler had to run the 1970 run on his own, resulting in, in him... Yeah. With a change in political party back home, Pegler had to run the 1970 run on his own, resulting in him ending the run in... Well, yeah. With a change in political party back home, Pegler had to run the 1970 run on his own, resulting in, in ending the run... Ugh, I can't get this line! With Pegler bankrupt, William Mc... Oh, God. With Pegler bankrupt, William McAlpine stepped up to play... To the... Stepped up to the plate. With Pegler bankrupt... Uh... <laughs> Bring... Mm. Bring her back home after several tours, one of which included a 735-ton uh, train over a 490 leg between... Tarcola and Alice Springs, low the Bringing her back home after several ta <laughs> Bringing her back home after several tours, one of which included a seven hundred uh, uh, So close. We're so close in Alice Springs. The locomotive uh, Terry, I suck. <laughs> it's fine. Hey, you want me to do it? I'm good. Bringing her back home after several tours, one of which included a 735-ton train over a 490 leg between Tarcoola and Alice Springs, the locomotive was then bought by Dr. Tony, uh... Mary? <laughs> Marsington. Uh, bringing her back home after several tours, one of which included a 735-ton train over a 490 leg between Tarcoola and Alice Springs, the loco uh, I can't the locomotive the locomotive 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 Why can't I say locomotive? Bringing her back home after several tours, one of which included a three uh, <laughs> screw it. I'm putting it down here. Bringing her back home. Mm.